this tonight from Miller Williams, who became the third inaugural poet when he read this at uh, Bill Cl the start of Bill Clinton's second term of history and hope. We have memorized America, how it was born and who we have been and where. In ceremonies and silence, we say the words, telling the stories, singing the old songs. We like the places they take us. Mostly we do. The great and all the anonymous dead are there. We know the sound of all the sounds we brought. The rich taste of it is on our tongues. But where are we going to be? And why? And who? The disenfranchised dead want to know. We mean to be the people we meant to be, to keep on going where we meant to go. But how? Do we fashion the future? Who can say how, except in the minds of those who will call it now? The children. The children. And how does our garden grow? With waving hands, <laughs> rarely in a row and flowering faces and brambles that we can no longer allow. Who were many people coming together cannot become one people falling apart. Who dream for every child an even chance cannot let luck alone turn doorknobs or not whose law was never so much of the hand as the head cannot let chaos make its way into the heart, who have seen learning struggle from teacher to child cannot let ignorance spread itself like rot. We know what we have done and what we have said and how we have grown degree by slow degree, believing ourselves toward all we have tried to become, just and compassionate, equal, able, and free. All this in the hands of children, eyes already set on a land we can never visit. It isn't there yet. But looking through their eyes, we can see what our long gift to them may come to be. If we can truly remember, they will never forget. Of history, and hope by Miller Williams.